everyone, this is Curtis Duncan, and I'm making another video today about why grocery receipts, the receipts that you receive at a grocery store, or anytime you go to a place where they give you a receipt, why those receipts cause polycystic ovarian syndrome and female facial hair. Now, polycystic ovarian syndrome is a really common condition here in America today. Close to about 10% of the female population here in this country has polycystic ovarian syndrome. And, it's a, and it is a condition where the ovaries actually begin to develop cysts and, and also produce excess testosterone. And this excess testosterone not only causes a woman to become infertile, but it also causes a woman to develop female facial hair. Now, polycystic ovarian syndrome did not exist 100 years ago. Just about every single condition that women have in this country did not exist 100 years ago. So what has changed within the past 100 years? Number one, diets have dramatically changed. And number two, women are being exposed to a plethora of chemicals which cause insulin resistance because polycystic ovarian syndrome is caused by insulin resistance or uh, which is the hallmark of type 2 diabetes and particularly a chemical known as bisphenol A or BPA and BPA is found in just about all shopping and grocery receipts out there and when you actually receive the receipt and you you know take it from the cash register or the person who's giving you the receipt it actually gets absorbed into your skin. And the concentrations that are found within grocery receipts are actually much higher than the concentrations commonly found in canned foods because that's one of the more common sources of bisphenol A. And what bisphenol A does, not only does it cause a woman to actually develop polycystic ovarian syndrome by some of the effects that occur within the womb, the epigenetic effects, so essentially when a woman with developing female fetus is exposed to bisphenol A within the womb, it changes the expression of her genes to where later on in life she will develop polycystic ovarian syndrome. And it's not something that she'll ever know about, but when she's 30 years old, 40 years old, you know, she'll be infertile and she'll have problems with uh, facial hair. And she'll wonder why, you know, you know, what's going on? Why am I developing this condition? And the reason why is that the chemical bisphenol A actually changed the way her genes expressed and will actually cause her to develop polycystic ovarian syndrome later on in life. Uh, bisphenol A also causes a woman to, uh, to go into early puberty uh, by the same epigenetic changes that occur within the womb, where essentially the chemical is actually changing the way uh, the genes express. Uh, so later on in life, a woman will be sick and will have uh, this condition where she has uh, unwanted uh, facial hair. Uh, so bisphenol A, uh, it causes uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome within the womb. Not only that, but when you are exposed to bisphenol A, it actually stimulates your ovaries to produce excess testosterone, and it also stimulates the ovaries to produce cysts, which is the hallmark of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Bisphenol A also causes insulin resistance, and when you develop insulin resistance, you actually, you actually stimulate your ovaries to produce excess testosterone and it causes, it causes the condition polycystic ovarian syndrome by itself. Uh, so bisphenol A also causes you to become diabetic and to develop insulin resistance. So this is why it's very, very important, ladies, uh, that you avoid all shopping receipts. Whenever you go to a store, they say, do you want your receipt? No, thank you. Um, don't even come in contact with the receipt because the, the ink on the receipt contains the bisphenol A. And as soon as you come in contact with it with your hands, that chemical is going to go straight into your body and, it's going to, and your ovaries going, are going to be exposed to it. And it's going to cause you and increase your risk of developing polycystic ovarian syndrome and unwanted facial hair. So definitely make sure that you avoid uh, this uh, toxic chemical that is found in all grocery and shopping receipts. I have an excellent recording that also gives you more information on how to avoid BPA and some of these other different harmful estrogen mimicking chemicals out here which are destroying women's health and giving them fibroids, early puberty, endometriosis, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, and also polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, that link is down below. It's called Harmed by Hormones, how estrogenic chemicals harm women's health. And it's a really awesome recording um, that I recorded that gives 
women all the information that they need so they can avoid some of these different chemicals that are out there because there are a lot of them out there uh, and if you don't know how to avoid them then you're going to uh, increase your risk of developing these diseases for not only you uh, but for future generations so check out that recording the link is down below and now please share this video and you all enjoy the rest of your day bye